Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, July 30th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I align with my inner queen. And you know, sometimes the inner child can take over Leo, but with some of this astro energy today, I feel like it's time to embody, activate, our inner queen. And this is for everybody, regardless of gender. I think that we all have a little bit of a queen archetype. I had to look up some queens because <laughs> the first queen that popped into my head was the queen of hearts in Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> and I was like, you can embody that or, you know, a popular real queen like um, Queen Elizabeth, uh, Elsa, Cleopatra. There's so many good queens that we can tap into. And we'll dig into the astro reasons why in just a moment. But I have to share a little story, a little side story. I thought I saw a puma here. So Arkansas reminds me of Madagascar. Like the bugs here and the animals, like this state has a lot of good natural forests still. Um, and there have been rumors, we've heard rumors of some big wildcats. And so Joe and I are standing out there and all of a sudden I see this big black cat. It felt larger than a house cat. It was not, it was not puma sized. Um, and you know, the pss -pss -er in me and the like, maybe I should save myself in me. <laughs> it was trying to balance. So I, you know, stood on a higher platform to get a better look. Turns out it was a probably slightly larger than Mahalo sized black cat, but looked like a puma. And because we're in Leo season, I had to share because I was going to be excited either way if it was a cat or a puma, but I really thought it was a puma. And so the illusion is strong with me, right? <laughs> um, anyway, let's dig into this astro and why we're looking into our inner queens. So we have Venus today trining Chiron. Chiron is the wounded healer, helping us heal ourselves, healer, heal thyself. And in Aries, it's like, healer, who are you? Like, who are you under all these layers? Now, Venus in Leo is like, well, I am divine. I am a queen and I know how to carry myself as such. We all have some of that archetype. Maybe it's 0.5%, maybe it's a 90%, but it's time to kind of just play a little with that divine energy. Now, of course, there's lots of ways queen can show up. It doesn't always show up wonderfully um, as probably many of you saw in Game of Thrones, right? Like, so, <laughs> You can be that queen too. Choose, choose, choose what works for you. But I feel like this is the healing that's needed for Venus in Leo. I feel like Venus in Leo has gotten a lot of challenging connections, uh, this transit, and has not really had the full release of the wings. Um, so in this way, we can embrace that energy within ourselves and maybe do a little worth boosting because you are a divine child of the universe and queen is just one way you can play with that energy so i would love you to let me know in the comments what queen would you like to call in to align with in these energies um besides that today is a slightly better day than than Monday, transit wise, we have the moon in Gemini, the moon in Gemini will be connecting to Mars in the morning. So you may have a real big up and at em kind of energy <laughs> try to breathe. Because of course, moon and Mars can bring along the temper tantrums. So watch for that. And speaking of up and at em, we're having like huge solar flares again, uh, potential of seeing the auroras again, um, places even like Arkansas. Uh, so that can also push the button. So be aware of that. Um, sun and moon in connection. I always feel like 
moon in Gemini is such a hype, anything in Gemini is such a hype for the Leo energy. And so I think we might feel like the fun and the playfulness and we can lean into that again. Like what's your queen? What queen are you resonating with? What one pops into your, you know, imagination first? And then what one do you want to go with? Like I said, I went with, uh, well, Cleopatra. I like the Cleopatra energy. That's feeling like, yes. Um, but Queen of Hearts, she must be in there somewhere off with their heads because that also popped into my head. So it might be interesting to look and see what pops up for you. Um, the moon's also going to be connecting with Jupiter. Now, this is an interesting connection. This can be full of charm and fun and connection and good things. But if your moon is feeling a little puny, it can also make the feels and the stories that you're telling bigger. So do be aware of that. That's going to be later in the afternoon. Um, it's 345 Pacific time. So watch when those stories start rolling in. Maybe in stories around why you can or cannot embrace your inner queen or why you don't feel like you can align with that energy. Um, the final connection is a square with Saturn, moon square Saturn. That's in time for bedtime. So that may bring on some interesting dreaming energy. Now this Venus Chiron connection, I think is a nice little interlude. We have Venus squaring uh, Uranus later this week. This can actually bring a little healing maybe to yourself, to yourself in relationships. If you're feeling any of that challenge, I did have the lover's card pop up. And I think this is a great opportunity to love on yourself, but it may be, you know, others. But this card came up too, the aloneness card, the hermit card. So even if you are feeling very connected, Moon in Gemini loves to connect, make sure to get that time alone to really love on yourself. You are your first and best relationship <laughs> always, right? Um, I also love that we have the courage card for today. Stay in our heart, have the courage to hold the space of love. Now, I had transformation in reverse. I think this is some of these incoming energies that are creeping in. So watch for the transformation vibes. If you are finding something that doesn't feel empowered, including your inner queen, this is an opportunity for some transformation. Last card of this deck is letting go. So this might bring on some of those emotions. Like I said, that moon, Jupiter, it can expand anything. So it can expand the goodness you're feeling, but if you get hit by, you know, an emotion cloud, you may cry a little bit and that's okay too, right? Like it's okay. Let it go. Spend a little time in the hermit and then go see where you can, you know, open up, open up your heart. So speaking of cats, I have this lovely bowl full of cards. I call this my chaos deck. Um, Many cards have been donated by friends, especially Margot Rowe. Thank you, Margot, for so many fun cards. Um, she has donated the most. The cats, one of them, I think it was Luce, knocked them over today. They were everywhere, scattered. But as I was picking them up, it was like, hey, pull one, pull one in the scope. So I'm gonna be doing this regularly. I feel like it'll be for a specific per person or persons. Um, and we're not gonna go into like what the card means. You're gonna know what the card means for you. So, um, ooh, this is the card. And it's an affirmations card, chaos deck. Uh, let's see, affirmations, authenticity. Authenticity is the name of the game. Whatever comes up, I will feel it. Whatever needs to be said, I will say it. Whoever doesn't get it, doesn't have to get it, but at least they know it because I've said it. And that's way better than leaving a passive aggressive note about it. it has this lovely little typewriter who's ready to speak it out. So there we go. There's our little affirmation for whoever claims it. Um, and I look forward to playing more with this chaos deck with you since Luchi was like, stop just leaving these here. Let's play with this. This broadcast was brought to you by Spirit of Cat. <laughs> so that's it for today. I am definitely feeling the Leo playful vibes. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and... Remember who you are for you are the solution. Namaste.